So I made a new wall. You're looking at the back side of it. It uh, collapses to the B. Three panels, one middle, two sides, a uh, transparent front. Um, I end up using these for my controller plugs because they are four wire um, phone cord jacks and phone wire. And uh, I use these fancy little jacks here that are actually phone plugs, if you can see. I don't know. Um, so, anyway, let's plug those in. And we got signal. I had to use a, a special tool, which was not cheap, um, to put my phone lines together. Um, so, and I got all my LED strips on here. I actually used three full strips, but I cut a lot off at the end, so I didn't have to put any. I have extra pieces now for other things. Uh, there's Velcro, white Velcro, about midway on each of them which attaches to my table, so I can easily fold it and put it away, attach to my table. This middle one here, um, as you can see, they're, they're very thin. Um, I used half-inch composite <clears throat> fiberglass, which is super light airplane stuff. Got my logo on the front. Um, and I used some half-inch sheetrock in caps, C-shaped sort of, to cap off the edges and make it look nice on the outside. And then I used my LED lights all the way around on the inside. It's very light. Um, doesn't weigh much at all. It's two, three fingers. Piece of cake. Doesn't weigh much at all. So that's nice. Plug it in, and we're we're on. Then I only need one controller. And here's my controller here. It's a sound activated controller. This is reasonably inexpensive. Um, you can change the colors from blue to green to red and white. And then you can hit these buttons down here to make it strobe and fade to different colors with the beat or with solid. Um, so, that's it. I'll show it in action for you later on today. But I'm happy it's less than three inches thick uh, when it's folded up. So, it makes me happy.